culprit must be smart. They used a voice changer. From the recording alone, it's hard to tell who it could be. Contact the media source and tell them to ask the culprit to repeat the request. While that's happening, you look around here and see which of the global staff is on the phone. Follow them quietly and secure evidence of the call. Be careful not to let the culprit figure out what we're doing. Yes, sir. Eric returns to the event room. His sharp gaze swept over to the Davis siblings. Deep down, he already knew which one of them had called the media. The only person capable of doing such a thing was Mia, the highly experienced backstabber. Eric contained his anger, picked up the phone, and sent her a short message. Let's talk at home. Emma noticed the change in Eric's expression. Oh God, someone has made Eric angry. Does that mean that these Davis siblings are planning an attack on me? Of course they would. Everyone knows I've been outstanding tonight. Ten minutes later, Eric watched as Mia stood up from her seat. Phone in hand, she slipped into an empty hallway hidden from the other guest's view. After a few minutes, she quietly returned to her seat. Then Luke appeared from the same hallway, gesturing to Eric that he had secured the evidence. Everything is going as planned. For so long, I wanted to launch an attack on Mia for a long time. But I couldn't because she did everything under Global's wing. Finally, she dared to be brave enough to offend me personally. I'm ready, Mia. Bring it on! Mia approached her after the gala, finding Emma waiting for her in the car. How dare you take a photo with the CEO of Kaleidoscope? Did you think you could use him to promote yourself? I'm warning you. You'll only make enemies doing things like that. If that's all, I need to go home and rest. Do you think you're Eric's girlfriend now? Mia, I admire your ability to be so jealous all the time. Thanks to you, Global's demise will come even sooner. Mia looked at her with ridicule. The thought of the news article she'd organized filled her heart with joy. Star Age has tried to poach you multiple times. Why are you leaving? Haven't you gotten enough revenge on me? Huh? And I thought you'd still have an ounce of humanity left in you. At that moment, Lisa pulled up in a sports car, and Emma got in and left without looking back. Why were you so quiet tonight? Um, nothing. Just wasn't feeling well. Then hurry home and get some sleep. The award ceremony is coming up soon. I can't afford any more screw-ups. Yes, Mia. I'm gonna have some good sleep so I wake up fresh for the top news coming tomorrow. Emma got home first and began making some soup for Eric to help him sober up. She knew he'd had quite a few drinks at the gala. As soon as he walked in the door, she handed him his pajamas and told him to get comfortable on the couch. You looked so upset at the gala. What happened today? What do you think? <laughs> Looks like Mia has her ways. Too bad she got caught. Don't you worry, my love. I'll deal with it. And this time there won't be any mercy. Emma understood what he meant. She knew Mia's destiny was now at Eric's hand. You already have your evidence. Why are you still upset? Things like this don't upset me anymore. <sighs> My heart breaks whenever someone tries to hurt you. Luckily, I can protect you this time. Emma pulled out her phone and showed him the photo of them from the gala. Does this look like a wedding photo? Of course. I have the most beautiful wife in the whole damn world. Eric and Emma are now united for life. As Eric hugged Emma to his chest, his mind uttered in silence. You're going to pay for this, Mia, and this time, it'll be a thousand times over. Mia was happy for the rest of the night. However, the headlines she saw the next morning were not what she'd expected. Exposed, global director schemes against her artist. Mia Davis goes too far trying to frame Emma Miller. At first, Mia thought all the media outlets had fallen under some spell. But as she read the articles, she realized that her plan had backfired completely. Oh, freak. Who took this video? After seeing the video, Mia knew she wouldn't be able to smooth things out. The news had already spread everywhere. By the time Mia got to the office the next morning, her terrible deed had been seen by everyone on the internet. The online comments were endless. Full support for Emma. She has always kept a low profile. If Mia can treat her like this, she must have no conscience. Oh, God. They turned me into a villain. Mia felt she was on the brink of insanity as she read the comments. It was supposed to be Emma getting attacked today, not me. What is happening to my life? The color drained from her face and her whole body trembled. She was about to fall apart. 
With trembling hands, she picked it up and dialed Emma's number. She hesitated for a moment before pressing the call button. Why, Emma, why? Why did you do this to me? <laughs> You're funny, Mia. It was you who wanted to frame me and now got it backward. Simple. You need to come out and clear things up. This was all part of your plan. You wanted to destroy me. It was all because of you. Irrespective of being wrong, Mia still couldn't stop being cruel. She was so mad at Emma that she wished Emma dead. However, Emma's composed attitude made it seem like she had everything in the palm of her hand. Emma, I may be ruthless, but you're even worse. You knew this would happen, didn't you? Mia, you should go see a doctor. Emma hung up the phone and turned her attention back to her email inbox, which was filled with new job offers and invitations. After all she had suffered from the Davis family, Mia's words meant nothing to her. She looked up at Lisa, who was dancing around the office with joy. So refreshing. That mad woman had this coming for so long. Let's see how she fares in the industry after this. We shouldn't celebrate too soon. There's no line between good and evil in this business. If Mia wants to clear her name, she'll find a way. Have you forgotten something? Mr. Roberts hasn't responded yet. It's already been a few hours since the news broke. Why hasn't he said anything? Emma looked at her and giggled. When a cat catches a mouse, does he eat it right away? Or does he play with it for a while, making it fight for its life? You're right. As soon as he leaves the house, he becomes a king that no one can provoke. He's more calculative than anyone else in the business. Emma smiled. Her heart felt warm as it always did when she thought about Eric. He made her feel protected and taken care of whenever they were together. And as Eric's lover, she would do anything for him. The news is everywhere, and yet Kaleidoscope still hasn't released an official statement. Does Eric not care about the issue, or, or, or is he busy preparing something big? Inside, Mia was leaning towards the first option. After all, she wasn't the first person to use Eric's name to create hype. He couldn't possibly have the time to deal with every publicity seeker. She felt that if Kaleidoscope didn't react, she would still have the chance to redeem herself. The industry would move on and her misdeeds would be forgotten. I, I can't give up hope yet. Who knows if the situation will change? Even as she was telling herself she still had a chance to escape a horrible fate, Kaleidoscope's PR team finally released a statement and it instantly became the subject of everyone's headline. What will Mia do now? Is Eric planning the ultimate doomsday for the Davis siblings? Hi guys, Emma here. Don't let your excitement die. The full audio series is on the Pocket FM app. Tap the link in the description to install now.